Psychology is an old and new science. The word itself comes from the Greeks. Psyche means soul, and logos means to study. So for them, it was the study of the soul. In 1879, Wilhelm Wundt opened the first psychology lab, which brought in the modern chapter of the science. So how do we define it today? And what is it looking at now? A modern definition would state that it is the science of behavior and mental processes. Behavior refers to what we do. It has to be an action that can be observed and recorded. Mental processes are those internal experiences that we infer from behavior. For example, it is our dreams, thoughts, and perceptions. Psychology examines memory development, psychological disorders, the brain and nervous system, intelligence, motivation, and much, much more. It is helping us understand the human experience by asking why and what, and then moving towards asking how. Psychology has grown since its establishment in 1879. There are two main branches, experimental, which conducts research, and applied psychology, which puts that research into practice, like in a clinical setting. For example, if psychologists are wondering about the development of children, children and socialization, they may conduct some studies to see if they match their hypothesis, then publish those answers in a journal. From there, a clinical psychologist can read that article and apply the how to and use the research to assist their clients. There are also numerous perspectives that look at behavior and try to explain our mental processes. For example, the biological perspective looks at the mind and how it affects behavior. Psychology helps us know ourselves better. It can also help us know how to operate in a world of people. It can help us understand our actions and sometimes the actions of others. It can help you avoid stressful situations or equip you with knowledge to help you get through that stress. It can help you know motivation better and it equips people with skills and knowledge to help alleviate symptoms of mental illness so they can live their lives as they wish. Psychology is an important subject. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.